this is the fly. Let you have a quick close up of it. Very, very simple fly indeed. Simply CDC fly, small, and the, the dressing for the body is a UV dressing, and the wing is a very high CDC wing, which catches the wind nicely, and these flies are available on the website. CDC dry was telling you about it's doing the trick now. Very few fish rising, but as soon as the fly is on the fish, the fish quickly take the flight. Nice tease trout there. Claim in and I'll show explain this CDC rig. There we go. Action on the dry fly. What I'll show you. Quick, thick and fast. Lovely, lovely cheese brownie. Fantastic brownies. These wild brown fish, brown trout. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning fish. And I'll just explain the rig. There we 
there he is. Absolutely stunning, pretty wild trout. Beautiful fish. Pop that hook out. damage at all. Supreme little pretty fish. And so this is autumn dry fly fishing and I'll explain the rig. It's very simple. It's a CDC upright wing dry. This is a very effective uh, pattern for several reasons. Uh, when it's breezy like today it catches the wind, the high wing, and gives a little bit of movement to the, to the fly. I've got a very short leader on, I've only got about four and a half feet of actual tippet material which is a three pound breaking strain ultimate and then I've got a furled leader. The furled leader is very very important. This allows the fly in difficult complex con flows and conditions like today we get nice drag free drift so the trout have a chance to see the fly and the grayling of course, home in on it and, and hit it uh, and because of the furled leader, the fly isn't dragged back unnaturally. When the fly drags, the fish won't take a dry fly. So, or, or at least this style of dry fly, it's not necessarily true. You can use a sedge fly and you can twitch that and induce a take. This style of upright wing CDC fly, the one that I'll tie tonight, is perfect for autumn fishing, uh, for fishing for grayling, and for fishing for trout in these, on these autumnal days. Beautiful dry fly fishing on the stunning river Tees. So this is the simple tie uh, of the fly that was catching the fish this morning. There, there wasn't uh, much of a hatch, but the fish had been used to seeing the hatch from previous days. And by using a pattern which was generally representative of the pale watery mayflies, that were on the water and that we managed to capture on film despite the scarcity. Um, we were able to catch a few fish in very, very tough conditions. Um, this is a very simple fly, it's a very effective fly for both trout and grayling. It is, a, it is a, a featured fly on the website on Stream Guide, so just click the link on the YouTube channel and go to the website and you can see it there if you like to buy it, but this is how to tie it. and. It's a very simple, very quick tie and a very effective fly. Materials are very simple. I use a TMCO TMC 103BL. This is a size 15. I also use size 17 and size 19 to match the specific insects. And with that I'll use some natural CDC, fresh off a duck, and some UV Hairs Plus uh, dubbing and I get this from my friend Jan Schumann. Um, you can visit his website and his shop uh, to, to buy this material. It's a very good material. The jury, uh, um, people are often skeptical about uh, the properties of UV dressings. My personal opinion is they do no harm and they may in fact help. So I'm highly in favour of using innovative materials like UV dressing. So I'll start the fly very quickly. The thread I'm using is just nano silk, black nano silk, and I'll just tie in that thread very quickly. Tie off the cut off the excess, and then I'll take um, an old. CD, a scrappy CDC feather and just pinch a few fibres off it to make a tail. This isn't um, compulsory, you can leave this bit out if, if you're an impatient tire, but it's nice and it adds a little bit of movement on the water as well, so anything that adds a bit of movement in my book is good on a dry fly. And then I'll have the body dubbing and because it's a pale watery Mayfly that we're copying. This is a pale UV dubbing, UV hairs plus dubbing, and I'll make that thicker towards the thorax of the fly, like so. And then I'm ready to tie in the CDC, and I've paired up two small CDC feathers, and I'll 
place one either side of the hook shank and put in two or three loose turns and then pull the tags and then when I'm happy with the position and the height then I'll go forward and bind that in with increasingly tight turns and come back and put a turn behind the, the feather behind the feathers to pull them forward and keep them upright. I want this fly to have a very upright profile with the CDC uh, fibers uh, feathers. I like I like want them sticking up this is for several reasons. The CDC is very light and folds during casting so it doesn't present a problem for leader leader twist or uh, any such problem where the leader might twist with uh, more traditional stiff materials. But other than that um, it catches the wind and adds movement to the dry fly and I'm fairly certain that when the breeze catches these CDC fibres which acts essentially as a sailboat and vibrates the fly then it's a trigger for a tricky fish and the fish we fish we fished for earlier today have been fished for all season they've seen many many flies so it has to be an effective one and I just finished the fly with a, a a short, a, a darker section of UV, a darker olive section of uh, UV. Here's the dressing, the same dressing, but just a darker colour, and this gives a nice two-tone effect. This is also a good trigger because the thorax section of these types of insects is often darker. And the fly's nearing completion now. You can see what a quick, simple tie this is, and you saw today on the river in very tough conditions with very very few fish rising in fact we rose fish blind but they weren't actually rising we were still able to catch them on this fly and there it is whip finish and essentially the fly is finished I'll just trim that this is the finished fly nice and simple and uh, as you've seen very effective I'll just show you that down here and against a white background so you can see it clearly and as I mentioned before if you don't tie but would like to buy the fly it is available on onstreamguide.com just go to the website and it will be in featured flies very soon.